Okay, everyone. So now we are learning that how to use method overloading in the program. So here we have created a program. First of all, we have created a form. This is form one, and we just changed the text to Ankit Varma here. Then we dragged and dropped three labels: label one, label two, and label three. We dragged and dropped one button. This is button one. Then we change the text. That is click. Afterward, we double click on this button, and this coding will open. Here we are having the class form one. So for this form one, the class is created, and is public. Public means it can be accessed outside, and is ending with the end class. Then afterward, as we clicked on the button, so the coding of button will appear. This is the portion of button coding. Now here we are having sub. Sub means it is a procedure, no return type. Then button one to scroll click. This is the name of procedure. Then private, private because it is a part of form one. Then two arguments are passed. This is one and this is two. Then afterward handles. It is going to handle the button one dot click event. So whenever we click on the button, this procedure will be called. Now above that button. We have created a class. So here, class. Class is a user defined. So we can provide any name. I have provided my name. Let's say Ankit. That is public, so it can be accessed outside. The class is ending with the end class. So we can see that this is the complete block of the class. Inside the class, we have declared three procedures. So this is one procedure, second procedure, and the third procedure. If you observe that, then all the procedures are having same name: area, area, and area. So whenever we are going to use the same name in the procedure, that is called the example of overloading. But in the overloading, there is one more condition that there should be different number of argument. So here we should first check that we are going with the last. This is by val a as integer, so this is one argument by val b as integer, two argument. So there are two arguments present. Then by val a as single, single is like the double, which take the float values. Now it is having only one argument. Then by val a as integer, it is having one argument. So out of that, two is having no problem because two is Different from one and one. Now, so this two will be taking into circle. That means no problem. From these two one, it can create the problem. So we are going to go with the second thing, which is the different type of argument. If the number of arguments are same, then second condition is different type. So we are checking the type. We can see that the first one is of integer and second one is of single. So no problem. They will also work fine. If the number of arguments are same, then their type should be different. So now we are going to see that how this program will work. We will click on the click button. Then afterward, this code will execute. Now here we are having dim. That means declare obj. It can be normal variable as new. Whenever I use new, it is now no more variable. It is the object. So this obj is now becoming the object of Ankit. Ankit means this is the class name. So for this class, one object is created whose name is obj. Now with the help of obj, we can access everything inside the class. The member of class are not accessible directly, but with the help of object, we can access them. Now afterward, we are going further. So here we are declaring dim. X as single, which is twenty point three. So one variable x is declared inside the boundary of button coding, and the value is twenty point three. This x is of single type. Then further, we are having obj dot area. We can see that everywhere area area is mentioned. Obj dot area. This is same. So. Which procedure will be called? That will depend upon the argument we are passing. So in the first, we are saying that obj dot area, and here we are saying ten. Ten means it is the integer type. So it is going to call the integer type. 
So here we can see that it is going here. And how many arguments are there? Only one argument we have passed and it is of integer type. So it is matching one argument of integer type. So this one will be called. So this area procedure will be called. Then afterward, it is saying form one dot label one dot text. We can use directly label one dot text, no problem. But sometimes in the few codes, it gives the problem because we are using label one inside the procedure. So form one, we are providing its super class so that it can be accessed. Then afterward, area of square. So in the label one, it is modified that area of square. So instead of this label one, now we are having area of square and which is concat with A into A. So we have passed 10. So 10 into 10 is 100 is created over there. Then afterward, the next line will run. Here we are having OBJ or area, which is totally same X. What is X? We know that X is the 20.3 and which is of type single. So here, which procedure will be called where we are having the one argument of single type. So now this is going to call the procedure which is having the one argument with the single type. So here this procedure will be called and inside that we are having form one dot label two dot text. So this label two text is now changed area of circle. So in the output we are having area of circle and concat with pi r square. So 3.14 into a into a. So that is now shown as the result. Now afterwards the next line will execute obj dot area now 30 comma 40 how many arguments are there two so it is going to check which are two arguments we can see that two arguments are there now both are integer so we can match both are the integer type so it is going to call the next procedure so here it is going and calling the procedure with the two arguments of integer type now form one dot label three dot text. So in the label three, now the text is changed. Area of rectangle. So in the output, we are having area of rectangle. Then concat with A into B. So here we are having 13 to 40, which is 1200. So this is how we are having this labels who got changed. So this is the example of method overloading where we are having same names of the procedure, but they are having the condition number one different number of argument number two or different type of argument so that is all about the method overloading